This is what happens when Germans get a hold of Italians. We have a beautiful Rosso Mugello 2021 Ferrari Roma here for sale at Audi Lakeland in Florida. And I get a chance to take a walk around it and show it off to you guys here today. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now we have something we don't normally get a chance to get on the channel, but this has been a full circle moment because we have a Ferrari on the channel today here at Audi Lakeland. But the full circle moment is that when the Roma came out years ago, I was at the premiere or launch party out in Florida and I was able to go for a ride when this model was debuted as an event. So I'm able to take a walk around a Ferrari Roma and beautiful Rosso Mugello, which is the color we have here today. And this is on sale here at Audi Lakeland in Florida. Beautiful pre-owned model with barely any miles and it's our opportunity to get a chance to walk around this thing and talk about this beautiful piece of Italian art here being sold by the Germans. So with that said, let's take a look into what the Ferrari Roma has to offer for this model year. But this model here in front of us has less than 3,000 miles. So at a base price of $222,620, this has actually only lost a little bit of value and we'll get to that towards the end of the video when I let you guys know the price. But with that said, I mean, come on, drop that gorgeous design, practical interior, great for cruising and racing. I mean, this Roma's beautiful bodywork pays homage to Marinello's historic GT cars and the new coupe is delightful behind the wheel and we will check it all out here today. And per usual, big shout out to Audi Lakeland for letting me take a walk around this beautiful Roma. If you guys want to get this car in your driveway, come check it out. Check the link in the description for their website and their phone number. Give them a call and see if you guys can get this car off of the lot into your hands. Now we can never forget to mention dimensions because for the wheelbase of the Romo, you're looking at 105.1 inches, a length of 183.3 inches, a width of 77.7 .7 inches, and a height of 51.2 inches with an estimated curb weight of 3,600 pounds. Now when you talk about a Ferrari, I mean, this is what you talk about, right? What makes the soundtrack sound so good from these Italians? What makes the historic racing heritage so awesome? Well, it's what's under the hood. As you guys can see, this is the chassis number. That's the plaque. That makes this super official when it comes to Ferraris. When you stamp that in, on the end of the production of the engine, and that is the seal of approval when it comes to Ferraris. So. You guys can see the beautiful red manifolds there, the Ferrari script. I mean, wow, that looks really cool with the engine cover and manifolds all done in red. And with that, what are we looking at when it comes to performance and everything and all those figures? Well, I'll stop gawking about the overall looks. How does it, how does it move? Twin turbocharged, intercooled, 32 valve V8, aluminum block and heads and direct fuel injection. So how does that translate to power? Well, let's talk about it. We have 612 horses at 7,500 RPM and a 561 pound-feet of torque setup at 3,000 RPM. This is an eight-speed dual-clutch automatic, and you're looking at a zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds, a zero to 100 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds, the quarter mile at uh, 11 seconds flat, and the top speed at 199 miles per hour, but I bet you can get it up to 200 if you tried on a closed course. But with that said, all of that is very cool. I mean, it's, it's nice to hear the numbers and everything, right? Let's hear how it translates to sound. And before we actually do our walk around, you guys know that there's a plaque inside of the Ferraris, each of the Ferraris in the trunk or boot that lets you know the options and specifications for every specific model. So this specific model has it as well. We'll see it in just a moment. But a couple of things that are on that will be for the exterior, glossy black brake calipers. You also have obviously the Rosso Mugello paint job, 20 inch dark forged wheels, Michelin tires, the Scuderia Ferrari shields, all that kind of stuff that is actually optioned out, black tailpipes, all that that you guys will see here today. So as you guys can see, right up front, starting with the swooping bodywork, it's so curvaceous. I mean, obviously, the style and curves of Ferrari, it definitely kind of took some inspiration, again, from the Maserati Alfieri concept, which we love so much. Uh, it never came to fruition because we got the Roma, 
but I'm not mad at the Roma because this, this is a sexy, sexy prancing horse. As you guys can see, the controversial front grill that first came out, you know, a lot of people are indifferent about it, but obviously it's grown on a lot of people and definitely grown on me, this whole front grill setup. Now you also see the prancing horse right front and center. You also will see the Ferrari badging right there. And you will also see down below the black front lip mixed in with the Rosso Mugello paint and obviously the mesh grill and its functional grill because you know, no fake vents here. Now you also see between the headlight and the front grill is a gloss black styling piece. And then you can see the headlight unit, which we will have illuminated shortly. It was a big LED right there. And then the headlights right in between those as well. It just all is simple, but at the same time, it's sporty. Like it's, it's so sporty without being aggressive. It's got an elegant style to it, I feel. And a lot of people might say that it's a little too smooth or it's a little continuous with the lines and there's no aggressive breakup, but that's not what this car is trying to be. It's trying to be an elegant glider through the road and something that could just cut through air when you see it fly by you. And I definitely feel like that Ferrari has accomplished that with the front styling of this Roma. Now, when it comes to the side profile, man, that coupe look is just so cool. Actually, it gives me kind of AMG GT vibes when it comes to the roof line going to the back. But up front first, you will see what I mentioned earlier, the 20 inch forged wheels done with the Ferrari badging in the center, the prancing horse right there in yellow, black calipers with white script. And you also have carbon ceramics. Yep, carbon ceramic brakes. Those are the big boys right there, wrapped in the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Well, this has got some sticky grip to the road in order to help you hold down the power. But yeah, that looks really good. Also keep in mind to go with that prancing horse. On the front fender, we have the Scuderia Shield which is a pricier option if you guys know, you know, but if you got these painted, they're $10,000 a piece if you had these painted on the side, which is an option. This is the actual badging, which I really, you know, I really like to enjoy because it actually feels like something there other than the paint, but to each their own, I like this one better. Now you guys will also see the little indicator on the side here as well. And then the side skirt to match the front lip where it has the black piece going along the side of the bodywork as well. Now, when it comes to the mirror cap, you will see that we have gloss black in the mirror cap, but also keeps that Rosso Mugello with the whole uh, livery there as well. And then the window moldings are partially done in red, but then you have that black plastic to go along the bottom. So bottom piece, black plastic, top red, and it's very seamless over the top of the roof with the little shark fin antenna. Now, when it comes to the rear, it has to have some of the smoothest lines because up top, you can really see the continuous bodywork going all the way across over the prancing horse. But let's first start at the rear glass. As you guys will see, it makes a beautiful circle shape going all the way through with the Ferrari badging, letting you know that script right there means something special. But then we come down to the prancing horse. Just to reiterate what we're looking at here today, right there in its glory. And then also you will see that we have the tail lamps there integrated into that flowy bodywork going all the way across, which looks really cool. And we'll see those illuminated in just a moment, but I love the way that those look. Now we will also see the rear diffuser where it gets more aggressive and takes a departure from the smoother body lines up front because we have the option out black exhaust tips, quad exhaust, two on each side. And then this super aggressive rear diffuser right here that just goes over the exhaust pipes with the reflectors, you know, functional grill, as you guys can see, for extra cooling there in the exhaust. But then the shark fin kind of look for the rear diffuser. And then the little light right there in the center takes from that kind of very elegant style and gets aggressive at the bottom, lets you know that it still means business when it comes to the rear of the Ferrari. This is still a prancing horse sports car that demands your respect. When it comes to fuel economy, you're looking at 19, 17, 22. 19 combined seating highway, 17 city, 22 highway, and you would expect that out of a twin turbo V8 from Ferrari, premium fuel, and it's bad boy too. Of course, you already knew that though, right? Now, believe it or not, we do have a little trunk space in the Rari, 10 cubic feet of trunk space, but it's here. So as you guys can see, 10 cubic feet isn't that bad. When you talk about trunk space, Think about like the Giulia or the Ghibli um, when it comes to the Italian spaces, um, those have 13 cubic feet. So this isn't that bad. 
really, you can't see past the black abyss, uh, past the car cover here. But if I move this and go deeper, you'll see this is a deep trunk space. Look at that. So we're all the way back there with a nice little shelf here. So you guys can see what we're looking at. But you said you have some space in here. This is a grand tour. This is what this is for. This is for something that if you got a Ferrari, you could daily use it. And that's what the Roma would be here. So it tries to give you as much practicality as possible when it comes to overall space. But with that, you also have a false floor, but it's not much. It's a false kind of like flap. I'll say it that way, not necessarily a floor, but you will see extra fuses there. You'll see your tow hook, some tools, your tire inflate kit, all that underneath this false flap. Now I did tell you guys that we will have our spec sheet back here, but it's at the top on the trunk lid. So that will let you know the specs we have here on a specific Roma. So make sure you guys pause the video, screenshot this so you guys can see a lot of the specifications here since we don't have the original sticker so you guys can see what this car is all about when it comes to the personalized options. Now before we get inside, I have you guys look at the key. Um, it is very much protected um, for good reason, but you guys can see that it is the big kind of rectangular, I wanna say pad here that gives you the prancing horse with black and chrome on the back, but then your control functions are on the back side with lock, unlock. You also have your trunk release there if you press unlock twice and the Roma script right there on the bottom as well. So just to show you guys what that looks like, it is right there. But let's step inside of this thing and see what the Roma is all about when it comes to the interior. Space-wise, technology-wise, I mean, this was a big move for Ferrari in the 2021 model year going to what they had here. This was all new when it came to the design language and you'll be able to tell with a lot of things that actually didn't really age much. It actually looks like a modern day Ferrari, even though at this point it's three years old. So hopping right in, I will let you guys know right away that you will see we have the little digital Ferrari Roma spinning around like it's in a, you know, kind of cyber-esque movie like cyberpunk and giving you the digital rendering of it. You can see what we have here. The odometer is 2,971 miles. Yes, in three years, this has traveled less than 3,000 miles. And obviously it says the average speed has been six miles per hour, haven't moved it much, and the driving distance 27 miles with a maximum speed of 77 miles per hour. So again, this thing has been taken care of over time and you guys will see it here. Now, if you guys didn't see, the seats I'm sitting in are brilliant and it matches with the door paneling. We'll go over the door paneling first because this gives you your overall spec feel. This will let you know what we're looking at through the rest of the vehicle. So you guys will see that we have beautiful leather up top done in Nero. And then we have Rosso for the stitching to match that exterior. Now we also have Alcantara in the center of the door cards here with the Alcantara on the handle. And you have your door release here, which is an electric door release that you would press there. Obviously for Ferrari, only the best materials. You have the speaker surround here, which looks really good. And it actually goes very well with the speaker surround up here with that aluminum feel there. And then you also have gloss black around the buttons for your memory seats and your trunk release here as well. So you have all that in gloss black there. And you even have a little extra storage down here for any kind of documents or anything moving forward. So then you know, looking at this, that's gonna let you know what the rest of our spec is looking like in the interior. Check out our seating done in Nero and Rosso, which matches the rest of the spec of the car. Beautiful bucket seats. We have leather, we have red stitching, red piping. We have Alcantara, perforated leather, all in one seat. That looks gorgeous. And again, goes with the rest of the spec of the car because that piping from the door travels over to the center of the whole setup for the passenger. So then you have the Alcantara over the glove box and the central part here with the LCD screen that shows information we'll see in just a moment, the Roma badging and the HVAC vents with the leather dash, red stitching on that as well, and that piping coming over to the driver's side with even some Alcantara in the center part of that as well. It looks really phenomenal. We'll get to the screen and the digital instrument cluster you saw in just a moment. Now we also have our controls here. We have hazard, we have our window controls, reverse, manual, automatic. I still have to figure out what the PS means. If anybody in the comments knows or remembers, let me know what the PS is. And then you guys can see in the center here, cup holder right under here. I had to get my camera here. That is where that very rectangular key fob goes. So if you're holding your key, you will place your key there just for extra stowage. I know a lot of people are wondering like what is supposed to be right there. It's actually your key fob. Now 
with that cup holder there, you have a very skinny armrest done in black and red, but it is there and it looks good. And then you open that up and you will have extra storage there and USBs for your plugins. If you guys can see there, there we go. One on that side and one on that side to charge your phone. Those are USB 2.0s by the way, not USB-Cs, just to kind of give you a heads up. Now, coming to the steering wheel before we turn everything on, this is where you want to be when it comes to a Ferrari, okay? So, the steering wheel looks phenomenal. As you guys can see, wrapped in leather, perforated on the side, red stitching on the inners. Then you will also see this is where your control hub is. You don't see any steering wheel stocks. What you do see are some big aluminum paddle shifters there that look really good, but no steering wheel stocks. So, We'll talk about that because you don't see much on here until the engine is actually started. You will see drive mode selectors and your different um, windshield wiper controls and your lighting controls and your um, turn signals and everything there. But you don't see a lot of other things, even on this side here as well. You guys already know what I'm getting at here. Haptic buttons. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's put our foot on the brake and press the start stop button that isn't actually a button. It's a touch point. So, touch it. And now she comes to life. Now that we're to life, you will see that we have our hands-free controls over here with driver assistance. All right, we also have on this side, our drive mode selector. You guys will see that if I go here, well then I'm in wet mode. And you'll see it pop up there. If I go here for green, I'm in comfort mode. If I go here, I'm in sport mode. And you can see that the tack changes there as well. And then race mode is the last one there as well. So that's your drive mode selector, but you guys can see this digital instrument cluster so shows a lot of information. Even check, you can see the haptic buttons over here on the side, have home and view and everything for all your controls that you would need in order to check that out. Now we also have right here in the center, a screen, and we have a passenger screen. So we have it all when it comes to this model, when it comes to infotainment and technology. And again, this was a big step for Ferrari at the time because this was new for them when it came to all of this technology and the haptic buttons and everything when it came to just connectivity. Now, when it comes to the infotainment, what are we looking at? Because this is different from most sports cars, right? I mean, for that time in 2021, we really were used to a lot of analog dials and everything. Well, you have the 16 inch fully digital gauge cluster right here up front. And that is obviously going to give you tons of information that you can customize there as well. It is phenomenal to see all of that in one area. And really you can just do everything without taking your eyes off of the road. So that's something else to talk about. Now, right here, is an 8.4 inch screen that gives you all your climate controls, your radio controls, I mean, your phone, all that good stuff, you know, your day-to-day -day creature comforts. So that is also something to talk about as well. And then we have our LCD screen here for the passenger. They can do climate controls, audio, navigation, all that kind of good stuff there. And you can also turn that off as well. And all this by touch which is really cool as well so i won't go too deep into all of this but as you guys can see we have navigation radio we have our psi all that can, all that stuff can change when it comes to the view and how we um, actually change everything that we need to there so again i can put the navigation straight up there um, I can change to right here where you just see the RPMs. There's all kinds of stuff in this. It's just crazy how you can customize all this. And I'm not mad at digital over analog because we can do things like this on a whim. But this is just a great place to be when it comes to the Roma. Now, there's a couple things I didn't go over real quick. I'm gonna open up the door so you guys can see it a little bit better. But we have the haptic buttons over here for our lighting controls and everything, our mirror controls, parking sensors, and our um, uh, rear view mirror for the parking and all that kind of stuff, our parking uh, mirrors, and then our start stop as well there. We also have our electric parking brake right here and park hold there as well. And then you can see our very Ferrari aluminum dotted pedals there for the brake pedal and gas pedal under there as well. We also have a telescopic steering wheel. You can press the button here to make the steering wheel go closer, lower, up. I mean, move it all around to get it exactly where you want it. So we have that there as well. So I just wanted to cover those places um, on the car as well with the beautiful Ferrari side, still very classic. And then over here in the central console, 
We also have like a little like slit here. I'm not exactly sure if you'll put anything there, but it's there for styling. But we also have a little extra stowage right there in the center as well. Good place for a phone to be put right there. So again, this is a very intuitive, very technological design and it, it was something that was breathtaking and um, just something that was new and overall just innovative when it came to Ferrari in 2021. And it's good to see this thing doing so well in its 2024 model year. Now, the Roma is a two plus two, two door coupe. So, I mean, we can kind of get in the back, right? Before we start to uh, look at the front, let's try by flicking this up and letting the seat go forward. Uh, very much like the Maserati Gran Turismo does. Same kind of styling when it does that. And you see that we have some bench seats here, but there's no seat backing. So there is extra stowage and you could put someone back here, but someone small. Now I'm gonna try to keep the seat up and hop back here myself, just to show you guys that someone 5'11", six foot, can actually fit back here. So I'm actually on this. Now the headspace is, it's, it's minimal, it's, uh, it's minimal, but you can still fit back here. So that's, that's the point, right? You can actually sit in a rear of aroma. The rear of aroma, but yes, <laughs> with that said, it's not the, I wanna say, most spacious back here, but then you don't get this for backseat space. You do have a place for your phone back here, some red seat belts and a speaker as well. And it's nice Alcantara with leather mixed in. I love that they did carry over the red piping all the way through from the front to the rear. So that's really cool um, design language, kind of styling cue there that they did. Um, so they made it the best looking small rear bench seats that you could have um, in, a, in a car. But yeah, it's, a, it's pretty small, but just to kind of give you guys an idea, nobody who is buying this car is looking for rear seat space, but you do have a little bit of it. And that's the, that's the main point here. Now, if you guys did want to know a few things about this car, make sure you check the link in the description because I will have the link to the listing of this car so you guys can get all the info there. But we do have some hot notes here. You guys will see Audi Lakeland is selling it here and you'll see the color there, transmission, the VIN. Uh, the mileage is a little rusted there, so you can't necessarily see it, but we saw it already, 2,971 and you will see that this is a 3.9 liter V8 engine. Now you'll see the exterior, what we have on it, and then the interior as well. Some of the text is kind of cut through, but that's okay. And then go up here and you'll see some more stuff here. So make sure you guys pause this part, screenshot it, see everything you guys need to see when it comes to this Roma. And also a note, as is no dealer warranty, just to be as transparent as possible and let you know, what are you guys feeling about the Ferrari Roma? I mean, come on. We already know that this is a sexy car and in red, Ferrari red, I mean, come on. This, it, it just makes sense. I would love to get my hands on this and just enjoy what it's like to live in something like this, live with something like this and just, I mean, Ferrari excellence. This is the starting point right here and I think this is a good place to start. But with that said, drop those comments down below if you guys love the video if you guys love the car and make sure you guys check the link in the description if you guys want to support the dealership check out this car come see it i mean really you guys got to get a hold of this thing i just want to show it off to you guys but you guys got to come and get it now with that said drop those comments down below subscribe and click the notification bell and we will see you guys in the next video peace